Hi, and um, welcome back. So today we're talking about the blocking up process. So currently we are having the plastering done. So that is the man behind building of his house. And then that's down there. It will interest you that it's just been two people who have worked on that big building over there. And this one as well. The good thing is we haven't been working on it on a very fast pace. Like we are using a normal pace as possible as we can. And the bigger building, which is now complete to lentil level, took about less than five months, I think about four months. Four months here. We started sometime in December to get to that point and worked on this alongside the line. So let's talk about blocking up from foundation to the lentil part. So let me just uh, show you. This is by the side. This is the back. And let me just take you a little close to the other side as well. So this is also the, the back part. Now for the blocking up from foundation, we use a total of 1,100 blocks. So adding up to the foundation makes it about 1,600. We didn't use exactly 500 blocks for the foundation, but I'm just um, giving a rough estimate of how yeah, because the, what was left was about 20 or so. So let's say total of 1,600 blocks was used from the foundation up to the top. That is on top of the foundation, from the flow up to the lentil, and then from the lentil up on top of the concrete. So that was the total number of blocks that was used. And then we used total number of 46 bags of cement for that. And then we used six pieces of wireboard. So wireboard is what you'll be using um to secure the concrete that's when you're having concrete being cast and then aside that we also use um, say, um 23 pieces of 12 mm iron rods now the 12 mm iron rods was used for the pillars used for the pillars there and then as part of that we also use it for the top that is on top of the lentil part the concrete over there and um after that we use eight pieces of um, three eight rods, so the three eight rods was used to tie the twelve mm rods, and then we used five pieces of soft wood, so that was used underneath the concrete. So because you're trying to have windows here, you have to put some wood under, support it, and then you have the boards go around it entirely, so that you you don't have the concrete coming off. So we use about five pieces of that. So giving us a total material cost of 7,216 cities. That was for the blocking up phase from the top of the foundation flow all the way to the top, including the concrete. So the concrete is part, including the iron rods that's in the concrete. That is all part of that. And um, the cost is 7,216, that's for materials. And then the labor cost was 3,000 cities. So giving us a total of 10,216 cities to have from here all the way up now one thing to note is that under normal circumstance this size of blocks should have been 18 inches that is the height of it however most block factories these days do 16 inches so we have it a short of two inches so that means that you wouldn't achieve a total of nine blocks now you need to have about nine blocks that is i think standard um yeah but people do have more interest but for our building we use a total of nine from the foundation all the way to the lentil part so that's from here all the way to the part over there now if you look closely you notice that there's a half piece of block that comes on top over there before the concrete do come so that is due to the two inches shortage that we are having on the block so that's how come we have to use half blocks to compensate for that and then after that you proceed with the concrete and then you have the window come to after the fourth level so that is for the normal windows but this is the kitchen i'm actually behind the kitchen now so we had a total of five blocks so one as a concrete so one two three four five five blocks and i think just some half um block over here before the the wood uh, that is the wood frame and for the concrete we had a total height of i think five inches yes so if you look closely um, we had five inches for the concrete and the corners just uh, the normal concrete sizes over there so that is the blocking up process and then also after let me just go a little bit to the side after the concrete 
I was cast on top of the blocks and then the frames and the rest. We had other three blocks come on top of it. So um yeah, you could have gone you could have gone high, but because like I was saying, this is not so much of a big house, there's no point in going too high. So we had three blocks come up on top of the concrete from there. Now the concrete I think is like about um 16, 14 inches I should think but 14 inches height that is the height of it and from there the three blocks continuous up from there so that is the total number of blocks we use for the blocking up as well as for the number of cement the board the iron rods and and so on now as part of these I'm not capturing some of the other um, um, sm small things like small materials in terms of nails and the rest but when i give you the total breakdown of, or the total cost of the entire house that would be captured in as well so basically this is what we spent for the blocking up process or the blocking up phase let me include or add the frames to it now uh, we have a total of i think should be six frames so we have one two frames for the rooms so we have two five feet frames here here and there and then we have two at the hall, we have two here, making a six, and then we have one here. So making a total of um, seven uh, windows. Now for the windows, the total cost was um, not just the windows, including the door frames. So we are using three door frames, which are inside the building. They are currently working inside, so I don't want to distract it. That's how come outside. So all amounted to 1,805 cities. That was for all the frames, including the iron rod. So if you look closely, you notice that there are iron rods in it. Now, the sizes, the standard size of the iron rods is uh, 5.8, which is 14, and then, um, yeah, iron rod that's put inside the windows, you know, in terms of security. So that is for just the frame. So if you add that, that is 1,805 plus, let me just do this calculation. Uh, let me just do this. 7216 plus 1805 plus 3000. That gives a total of 12,021 cities. That is for the blocking up, the concrete, the frames, the wood frames. That is for both the door and then the windows. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. So we still have some of the sand and stones left and actually that's what they are using for the plastic so you can see that the 18 cubic was a good size we are not going to be buying any sand and any stones anymore maybe for the rest of the stones i'm probably considering using that for part of the fence wall which would work and then even the sand will be able to even do major part of that too that is just about this phase of this project you can drop your questions in the comment section so if there's anything i haven't tackled yet i'll be able to tackle that as well so i think this video is also getting lengthy so i'm just going to end this here and then in the next video i'll focus on the um, roofing itself the roofing only what went into it how much it did cost and how we went about the entire, the entire process and even finding the roofing um, company to you know um, do that as well so that would be just about it for this video make sure you drop us a like uh, do share with others and if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly go ahead and subscribe. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.